researching and praying and knowing the truth and showing the truth and pointing it out isn't judgment. We live in a biblical world that is satanic and fallen. From the beginning, Satan deceived Adam and Eve, bite the forbidden fruit that God told them not to do. He diso Adam and Eve disobeyed God. Satan fooled them. Satan fools us. Satan fools the very elect even. Satan has the world fooled on many levels. The rabbit hole is very deep. You must do research and use discernment from God, from the Holy Spirit, from Jesus Christ. Allen Ginsberg, the beat poet from the 60s. I used to own his book, How, because I thought poetry and the beat poets, oh, everyone's so enlightened and they're intelligent. So he talks about Moloch a whole bunch in his poem. Moloch is the ancient Canaanite god that people sacrifice their babies to. Allen Ginsberg in his poem Howl is a part of a book collection called Illuminated Poems. Illuminated, right? Bypass God and get illumination. Allen Ginsberg was a part of NAMBLA. You can see it on the back there, the North American Man-Boy Love Association. I don't know if he said this, but here's a quote from him that says, naked kids have always been a staple of delight for centuries for both parents and onlookers. So to label pedophilia as criminal is ridiculous. And we may think it's A-OK, -okay, but it's not A-OK. -okay. It's three sixes on his hand. He talks about Moloch. He does things that are antichrist. It is not my judgment pointing these things out. We are all sinners that fall way short. It appears that some people know this and then choose the dark path, okay? That's the issue we're running into here. I make I make mistakes. I'm no, not perfect, but I don't go out and do hand signs and symbols on purpose to show what path I'm choosing. I love the Lord Jesus Christ. I love truth. I love my brothers and sisters. I don't want to lead any astray, but it turns out that this is our world, whether we like it or not. We are moving on from it. It will be glorious. I pray that these people truly know Jesus Christ, repent, become born again, believe and have faith and trust in Jesus Christ. It's the meaning of life. God bless you, everyone.